Today is the 20th of May, and I'm going to uh, tr transplant my tomatoes for the first time with my two helpers, of course, because without helpers, you can't really get anything done. I started 64 tomato seeds, and I ended up with 20 actual plants. Uh, 21 come out, had come up, but one of them died for some reason, whatever reason. Um, I, there was nine varieties. One of them did not come up, and it was, uh, one I was not expecting to find, uh, to replace this year, so I was just thinking I was gonna have to wait till next year to just grow it. We stopped at the farmer's market after our chiropractor's appointment on Saturday, and lo and behold, the place that we uh, usually buy our tomato plants from, or tomatoes and peppers, they had the uh, tomato that I not had none of them come up. So it's the Japanese black trifel. <laughs> I was so excited. Nathan's like, did you see what tomatoes they had? And I'm like, no. He goes, well, they, I think they have that one that you uh, didn't end up with. So I went down there at the other end and sure enough, the very first row of tomatoes, uh, this, there was three of these uh, Japanese black trifle. And I might go back again this Saturday and uh, try to buy another one of these. And I only had one Cherokee purple. I really like that one. So I might go buy uh, one of uh, their Cherokee purples. Last year, I bought two Amish paste tomatoes on the recommendation of the guy that we buy them from for a uh, canning tomato. And I was shocked. I really loved that, uh, well, one of the tomato plants. The other one didn't produce as well. It, and the fruit was a little bit different. Now, since that was my first year growing the Amish paste tomatoes, I'm not sure which one of the uh, plants was more typical for the variety. I'm going to start transplanting them. I'm just going to plant them in uh, plastic drinking cups for now. So I'm going to put them in these cups and I'm not sure uh, what's the best way to get them out of these trays. I've never really used trays like this. So I don't know if here I am making a mess. I don't know if a spoon would be best or what. Of course, by the time you sit, you're uh, you're watching this, uh, even if you give me your recommendations, it's probably too late for this year because this is the only tray of stuff I have. Oh, well, I was all prepared to do this. I thought anyway. So it it look it's gonna it looks like it's gonna work to just apply some pressure as I. Not too much though, I'm just gently pulling up <coughs> to just, they do have a, a small root structure here, so be careful, we're trying to be careful anyway, to not disturb the roots too much because they're pretty fragile. Well, they appear to be fragile anyway. I am not, I guess I should put this warning in the front. I am not an expert at growing tomatoes. I'm not an expert at growing anything. I am learning. I started six seeds each of nine varieties. The totals that I have so far are two black seaman, five bonnie best, three large red cherry. I ended up with none of the Japanese black trifel except the one I purchased. I ended up with two Boxcar Willie, two Black from Tula, one Roma, four Amish Paste, and one Cherokee Purple. My method of just gently lifting them out of the containers lasted for exactly three of them, and I've just tried pulling the next five, and none of them want to come up. So I'm not sure exactly what to do. Now I'm kind of back to square one. I kind of wanted to get them all transplanted today, because I th now this is just strictly my opinion. I don't know 
again, not an expert here. I think once they're in these, they'll start to do better because I'll have more room to expand the root system. Yeah, I think they'll, okay, I got another one. Uh, yeah, I think once they're in here, they'll take off because I'll have more room. But we'll have to see. This is my uh, first time really. I've tried to grow seeds before. We we direct so some of these tomatoes uh, are doing. I don't know if I should say better. They're bigger. I don't know if I don't know if it means that they're. I get. I I would suspect it means they're healthier, but I'm not going to say that for certainty because. I, I mean, they, they uh, all look healthy, so I guess some of them just grow faster. We're gonna have to uh, put more holes in cups. So I, don't, I have four cups left and I have more than uh, four tomatoes left to transplant here. Even though I don't have these uh, 2019 tomatoes in the ground, I'm already kind of mauling over in my head what I want to do next year. And I had really wanted to order some tomato seeds from uh, Wild Boar Farms after hearing, well the first person I heard talk about them was Just from Roost and Refuge. After hearing people talk about the different varieties, I had intended to order some, I just never got around to it. So my plan for next year is to grow see i have eight nine nine varieties this year i'll probably keep my favorite four or five uh and grow those again and then i will probably buy uh, a couple more varieties from uh that wild boar farm One of my tomatoes grew uh, something next to it, so I'm gonna just kind of pot it up and see what it turns into. I'm not sure. I must put some that was in the soil, but we'll see what that turns into. Maybe, or maybe it won't. Um, we'll see. Let's see. I ended up. This is the. This is that uh, mystery plant. I'm not sure what it is. I ended up with nine tomatoes that I couldn't pull out. And then these three plants back here are basil. I probably should trans repot those. I might just go take them outside later this week once it starts to get warmer again. Let's see if they'll uh, take off. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna, uh, my purple basil died. I don't know what I did wrong. Uh, but I'll just start it from seeds. And then also at the farmer's market, I don't think I said it earlier, I bought a mammoth basil plant. This is the first time we've had ma uh, mammoth basil. And she said that it uh, is really similar to the Genovese, just a bigger leaf. So I'm gonna try uh, try that this year. Well, and, and uh, also the lemon and the lime basil are varieties that we have never tried. I'm not stressing about these tomato plants. I have, uh, so many of them that if some of them die, I have uh, I have enough that I'll I'll still be busy with tomato plants. Like the uh, this is the one strawberry plant. It's finally starting to grow. And then the only pepper that I'm going to say is probably uh, got a more than 50% chance of making it is this chocolate pepper. Uh, but these hot peppers, they, they don't, I don't think they're going to make it. So probably when I buy the two tomato plants, I'll buy a couple peppers. My cat helper fell asleep. 
Nathan got up this afternoon. He uh, brought a butter knife out and he worked out uh, four more. So after, th these four are all the same kind. So once I get these four put in their cups, then we'll work on the next kind. So hopefully this, uh, hopefully tonight, uh, all of them will be transplanted. And then uh, we won't have to worry about doing it later in the week. So thanks to Nathan, uh, the the rest of the tomato plants are uh, now in their individual cups. So uh, let's see. I have what twenty? I think that's what I said earlier. Twenty. Uh, I'll keep you uh, updated as I. Uh, plant them here hopefully in a couple weeks. <laughs> 